Hey everybody, we are back with Michael Patrick O'Connor. He's broadcasting from just outside the uh, Mount Rushmore uh, National Park there in the Black Hills. Um, Michael, tell us uh, what's going on there. Well, Kevin, uh, things have certainly changed. Um, the, uh, the protesters, native people, and their in our allies um, have uh, created a blockade in the middle of the street, as you can see behind me. I have to apologize. I lost in all the melee. I lost my headphones, so I'm trying to stay at a distance so I can uh, so you can hear me. But as you can see, there is a barricade, and there's uh, protesters on both sides of the barricade. If you can see behind me. And then there's law enforcement um, on both sides as well. Um, let me let me be, all... let me clarify real quick there, Michael. So the protesters have effectively blocked the road leading into Mount Rushmore. Is that accurate? Yes, that's uh, exactly what happened. It started out further up the street when protesters, when we all just took over the street, and then some of our women relatives uh, got on the ground and were laying down on the floor. Uh, laying down on the ground with their signs. And then um, we heard a loud boom. And it turns out um, some of the relatives were moving their vans in the middle of the road further down. And the loud boom was somebody's uh, flat tire. And so now the protest has actually moved down to here. And like I described to you further, they have ambulances, they have squad cars. And they've actually asked us to uh, disperse, but uh, we have ignored that that uh, order has been ignored. And so right now we're at a standstill. Michael, if you would just kind of pan around and uh, show us what you see. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get closer, but you may lose. You may, I may not be able to hear you. I'm going to get closer. And law enforcement is right behind me. They. They've just, they've, we've just been at a standstill. And so I am going to come down. And this is the, this side of the uh, barricade. And as you can see, people are being smudged down. And on the other side, the mean seems to be more of the aggressive and vocal side. And we'll go over there. And so as you can see, there's three vans that have been placed by protesters in the, in the road. And so now I'm crossing over into this side. And then I'll, I'll turn around and I'll show you law enforcement. And I'm not exactly sure what triggered the uh, the, the the switch um, where people took basically blockaded, but I don't know what triggered that. But I just saw a crowd starting to make a run for it, and our women led us and actually took over the road, and so uh, we followed. And so that's where we're at now. Now, is it your understanding, Michael, that uh, the people who are there to see Trump speak are still inside the, the Mount Rushmore area? Yes, yes. We've seen a steady flow of Trump supporters coming in and out, but more so coming in. And so we have our signs and we uh, have been uh, protesting. And um, uh, but basically that's now at a halt because obviously they don't have access out of the uh, Mount Rushmore Park and nobody has access in it from Keystone. I wonder if there's any other way in or out of the, the Rushmore Monument. I don't know that. It looks like that there is uh, from the other side of the highway, but this is directly, this is the road that goes directly into Keystone and then directly to Rapid City within, uh, I believe, 15 miles. All right. So have you heard um, what the next move is there or is it is it just kind of going to be a standstill uh, for a while? It is at a standstill. We we do have some um, 
of people that have sort of took taken the lead in, in our own as far as being liaisons between police and, and the protesters. And so there has been some um, communication. However, um, I haven't heard anything. It's been the last at, at least a half hour since we've been at this point and the people are still as fired up now as that, as they were um, when it all started. Well, if you don't mind, Michael, I, I would love to just uh, stay with you for a while here. Um, you know, feel free to share what you see if you want, but um, but I don't really have any more questions for you. I, do, I, would, I think people are very interested in continuing to see what you see though, so. Okay, I'll take you closer to law enforcement. It looks like they're kind of starting to bunch up a little bit more. They were forming a line, a direct line. And so I'll just kind of take you close to law enforcement. Okay. Guys, you're on live with Indians.com. So just to let you know, no disrespect to you, just going live. And so um, law enforcement for the most part, other than that initial, they, their, their efforts were to keep us back uh, from exiting, from being onto the street. And we, for the most part, followed that. And then uh, they've been, they've allowed us room. Um, but I, you know, wonder whether or not they're just awaiting on further instructions to, for the next move. Um, I don't, I just have no idea at this point. So I'm just, this is more the silent side. Uh, and now I'll take you again. And obviously if I, hopefully you can see there's relatives up on those bands. Um, and relatives all around in the, in the actually in the, in the hills, um, plant, you know, for the most part watching and still participating. I'll show you up here. Hey ladies, ladies, you're on, you're live on Indians.com. That's Kevin Everett. Would you like to say something? You're live on Indians.com. Hey guys, you're live on Indians.com. Yeah. How you doing? It's good to see the relatives here standing in solidarity. You're live on Indians.com, everybody. And so Kevin, I'll just take you around. Um, and there is a far more heavy police presence on this side. Um, more so than I had initially thought, and we actually have an ambulance down here as well. And there's just a broad age group. I'll take you on the, right here where this is at. This is law enforcement. And this is what they're looking at. Oh, they're announcing on the other side. You will be arrested. If you do not vacate the area, you will be arrested. That's what they said before, Kevin, but um, they didn't do that. It's we will allow you to go back to your original protest area. You cannot have this roadway blocked. Please get back into the shoulder the, of the roadway. I don't know if you can hear me, but, will be arrested. but the police are Please actually re assembly. Please vacate the area immediately. They're actually retreating back to their original um um you may Wait, go back so they're to giving us sort of the room to go ahead and go back. I think that's their strategy. I don't sense that that's going to happen, that the blockade is going to move one because one of there was a flat tire on one. It sounds like it got shot out or somebody purposely did that, but there was a loud boom and that's what drew our attention down here. And so this is where we're at now. And so now the officers are have, have backed off and they're, they're at least probably a hundred yards down 
and they're progressing back to the original spot and they're tell giving they're telling us that we are welcome to return to our original um, protest spot and so right now nobody is moving they're they're staying exactly where they are at okay and I just want to make one thing real quick Clear here, first of all, that um, we haven't asked you, Indians.com hasn't asked you to, to stay while they're asking you to leave, right? This is something you're just doing and we're just kind of following yeah, along. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. No, no, I'm just doing this on my own. Yeah. Appreciate that. <laughs> just trying to help out. And so, yeah, the police are now at their original area, a hundred yards up at least. And there looks like they're, they're sort of congregating there. Probably I would say to await further instructions as to since we are not dispersing at this point. And I could turn it around, but I'm afraid my cell phone probably won't capture that. And on the other side, however, the police have not moved. They are still staying exactly where that where they were at. And I must uh, and I have to say, Kevin, that I've been very uh, vocal about thanking our non-native relatives that are here as well that are standing in solidarity. And I turn it around and we see we see a group of them as well, very courageously standing their ground. And so I always want to thank our non-native relatives as well for being here. But on, like I said, again, on the other side, um, nobody has budged at all. Um, in fact, there's so many cars, like uh, squad cars, they would actually have to get into their squad cars and literally go backwards. So I don't know if they have that option. And I don't know why they're choosing not to do that. But obviously, they're giving us time to consider the option of returning to our original uh, uh, protest site. And so I think that's probably um, what's happening. Have you, do you have any idea uh, what kind of officers are there on the scene? Um, sheriffs, a heavy sheriff um, presence in there. Uh, um, but I, I've seen um, state patrol come driving through, but I haven't seen any state patrol, but it just looks like local law enforcement. Um, Sheriffs, yeah. Sheriff's department. What's the uh, what's the climate like there? Uh, the climate is very tense. Um, our people, especially on the other side, are pretty are, are very vocal, and uh, oh, there's some sort of. Anyways, I don't know what kind of. Excuse me. <laughs> helicopter that is but it's nothing like I've ever seen before and um, it's a very tense situation and it's, a, uh, it, and it's kind of a uh, how can I describe it like what's going to happen next you know I have, a, I have this feeling that they've issued these warnings and now it's a matter of, of what are we going to do and then what are they going to do as a result it doesn't look like the people are backing down at all. There's a lot of young people here. Do you know who it is that's uh, kind of leading the protesters? Or is there anybody that's kind of leading the protesters? Oh, Kevin, I have to inter interrupt you. The National Guard is now on scene. I can see them now. Um, they have vehicles. Uh, some type of uh, some type of uh, uh, vehicles that they use, I suppose. So, so I say. And then they have people on foot as well, progressing this way. So I'll take you over there if you don't mind. Yeah, somebody yelled from the top of a vehicle that the National Guard was here. And sure enough, I turned around. And my friends, and there, there are, are two now. National there Guard after um, to be many causes, tactical vehicles, I should say. And I know you're not going to be able to see. 
I mean, the National Guard has showed up in riot here. And, and they're setting they're setting a uh, per perimeter. And I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm going to get right there. Okay, so they're moving I have a feeling there's going to be a clash here. And so people, people are standing there. They're standing their ground, Kevin. Our constitution, the very liberties of these people will be... This is within feet behind me. So now the protesters are doing their best to literally put their bodies in the way. And I remember reading in that. And they're holding ground right now. They're holding ground. So it is at a standstill. We have women, women in there. their riot gear shield. So we have a real tense situation here. Yeah, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go. Okay, yeah, whatever you need to do, man. Huh? Whatever you need to do. Okay. Okay, I'll try and update you later. All right, sounds good. Take care. Be careful. Yep, yep thank you. All right.